hamu jamboni uh, ama ni rushe wanaume <laughs> <laughs> now that we are the only ones yeah, men's fellowship men's fellowship let me so ni confirm sound iko sawa i hope you guys are well yeah good 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 and here uh, um to make sure link oh bado sijafanya Marco Kwaje hmm? How has been Bahamas <laughs> my break mm. yeah, it's been a journey half of it was recovery half of it was pain so mm-hmm. enjoyed half you enjoyed half suffered through half <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, so you back you back good mm. good good yeah. while you are away mm. kuna watu wali walishikilia usukan yeah. man ian uh, i listened to him uh, making serious statements uh-huh. yeah na boni mm. na titus yeah eh ati cliffhangers eh what about cliffhanger yeah. we should have more often of the, we should have that more often yeah i think that's a good thing mm. eh so maswali la za leo si mingi mm. lakini hizi ni kama tutaanzia mali kina kina boni na ian waliachia mm. Mm. um So part of as they were discussing discussing leadership mm. uh, last week I remembered a, a quote I read from a gentleman who calls himself an, op- an optimist mm. his quote which I combined two of his quotes about leadership are mm. leadership is the awesome responsibility to take care of the person to our left mm. and the person to your right so as to see them rise mm and i i like his 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 views on leadership and his how he looks at uh, leadership not as an appointment mm. but as a responsibility for taking care of other human beings mm-hmm. so nikwataka wewe utupatie ka summary tu kadogo so so this is what i did first of all yes. i call last week's uh, discussion sober leadership mm-hmm because because uh, Ian is sober uh, yeah, <laughs> that is true <laughs> I, I, Ian began on leadership yes. and Boni went on to sober yes. uh, to being sober mm. so like uh, sober leadership a a slight uh, what you might say on sober leadership mm. especially considering where where we are at uh, mm. um Mark 10:29 Jesus said truly I tell you there is no one who has given up and left house or brothers or sisters or mother mm. or father or children or lands for my sake mm. and for the gospels who will not receive a hundred times as much now in this time houses brothers and sisters and mothers mm. da, 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 with persecutions and in yes. the age to come eternal life mm. so i wanted you to a quick treatise on sober leadership mm. and the persecution that comes with it considering also titus touched on persec- modern day persecution <laughs> It's a, it's a very good question but every time i want to restrict my answer to mm-hmm. what you have asked mm-hmm. where my head goes to is is you, you have to gather information you no know, to create what you see how you've asked it mm-hmm. for me is very restrictive okay and i want to answer in the restricted sense you've asked mm-hmm. but my spirit is telling me to go another way good so let's let's go another way right let's mm-hmm. go to genesis so okay let's go to genesis um uh chapter 1 okay uh because sometimes when you want to deal with fundamental issues mm-hmm. things that have to do with why man exists yes. why man does what he does mm-hmm. sometimes it's best to start in genesis mm-hmm. because genesis for me is genesis through revelation in mm-hmm. genesis mm-hmm. It's, it's it's that kind of it's, book it's for the, me. the entire story at the beginning it's the entire story at the beginning mm-hmm. right now uh when god makes man mm-hmm. okay uh and this is uh, verse 26 right mm-hmm. god in his making of man states what to me is the purpose of man mm-hmm. okay so he starts <laughs> by saying let us make mankind in our image so 
we know definitely, according to Ephesians, mm -hmm. that we are of necessity uh, 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 becoming and being conformed to the image of Christ. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. We know that is one of the key purposes we have, mm -hmm. to be conformed. In fact, it says he predestined you to be conformed to the image of his son. I'm quoting Romans 8 now. Now, um, w so the image is one purpose. Mm. After our likeness, and let them have complete authority. authority. So now, first thing is image. Second thing is authority. Mm -hmm. Now, when Jesus said, follow me, be like me, mm -hmm. when he was living, he said, I have given you authority. I have given you power mm -hmm. to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Mm -hmm. And when the Holy Spirit is come upon you, you shall receive power and you shall be my witnesses uh, to the ends of the earth. So it is clear that Jesus in his ministry is reiterating and restoring uh, and, and restoring us to the statement of Genesis 1.26. Yes. It's very important we understand that. Mm -hmm. Because the purpose of God and the design upon which he designed the entire earth, uh, our interaction with him, all of it is based on these things. Yes. So now, when you have authority, it means you are leading. Let's just agree. Yes. You cannot have authority over someone and not have the ability to lead. Yes. And it says, let them have complete authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, the tame beasts over all the earth and over everything that creeps upon the earth. And the reason why now I told you I need to expand is for a long time, we have been correctly taught, not sort of wrong teaching, that we lead ourselves and we lead our families and we lead society. Yes. What I want to adjust, and I pray people understand me, is that God's idea of authority is, listen, and let them or him. Mm -hmm. Them. Them. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm have authority over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, mm. the beasts over all the earth and over everything that creeps upon the yeah. earth. Yeah. So, God in his design to make man, in his stated intention to make man, mm. he says man made in his image should then have authority mm. over Birds, uh, animals, mm. uh, fish, everything that creeps, so that includes insects, mm -hmm. uh, the earth itself. Mm. So basically, man is supposed to exercise authority mm. over everything. Yes. But that man being made in Genesis 1 mm. is referred to as a them. Yes. Because we know. For a fact, Adam was not a them. Mm. Unless we go Unless into, we, I, uh, into I, I, I am a he, them, she, yes, you know. Yeah. So he was not transsexual. Mm. So we know. But we were all in him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we know for a fact that Adam in his existence, mm. in his uh, 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 play, in... Um, uh, uh, in, in Genesis 2, he is the beginning of the process of creating the flesh mm. that then Jesus would top up with the spirit. Yes. <laughs> right? Mm. We are born of Adam according to the flesh, born of Christ according to the spirit. Yes. Right? Mm. And the them here being talked to is corporate. Yes. And we know when Christ comes back, he says we shall rule with him. Yes. So the them here refers to those in Christ. Yes. Okay? Mm. Now, the mission of them is very interesting. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting.
I, I, I am wondering whether I should go down the path I want to go to. Mm -hmm. Now, let me uh, uh, steal someone's from last week mm -hmm. and then bring them to this scripture. Let me, let me steal. Mm -hmm. You said in your opening statement that the purpose of leadership mm -hmm. is to hold the hands of the people next to you to bring them to a place where they have success, they have esteem, mm. they have achieved glory. Correct? Yes. yes. Now, uh, let me turn this into a business class a okay. little bit. Okay. So, now, there are two classes of business. Mm -hmm. Class number one is self-employment. Self-employment is like a doctor who has clinic. their own clinic. Mm. You go there, he's the doctor you see. If he's not there, there's no doctor. Mm. Right? That's self-employment. Because you have given yourself a job. Mm. You have to be there for it to operate. You have to... Uh, 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 the, the customers know you. The, the, the accountant is you. The pay, person who pays the landlord is you. Mm. The person who uh, makes sure the building is maintained is you. That's self-employment. Mm. Okay? Mm. Then there is a business. A business is when, if you are away for a month, your operations still continue. Mm. Right? Now, that's an easy enough definition. But what is a successful business? Mm -hmm. A successful business is a business where you mature the people in your business so much that they don't need you. Mm. Correct? That's the proper way to do business. Yes. If, if, if you die, like many Kenyan wealthy people have died, mm. Tuskies, uh, Jacaranda Hotel, you know, name them. Mm. They have died and their businesses have died with them. Mm. <laughs> Now, if your business dies with you, then you are not running a business, no matter how big it was. Mm -hmm. You have failed because you did not empower people around you mm -hmm. to be able to have the same dignity as you. To, to, to go a step further than you did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus said, it is for your own benefit that I go yes. away. Because Jesus, in setting up his enterprise, had built people yeah. to the extent that he, being God, could tell them greater works than this shall you do. do. Mm. If people just understand what I've just said, we can go home. Mm -hmm. Because it is the most significant thing you must understand about anything you will build, be it a family, a house, a business, or whatever. Your objective should be that the people you are teaching, the people you are serving, the people you are fathering, the people you, you are husbanding or wifing, whoever it is, by the time you are done, you should be able to tell them greater things than this shall you do. Now, let us look at the church model. Mm -hmm. A church preacher will be very happy to say, this person has been a member of my church for 20 years. Yeah. You've been preaching and teaching. 20 then years. 20 years later, do this still or cheeky still. A member at the same place? Member at the same place. Doing the same things. Doing the same things. If you went to class 7, and you repeated three times. What do we call you? Special. Tulul. <laughs> <laughs> you get? Yeah. It is only in religion where the teacher, the preacher, the whoever expects that these people will stay under them for life. It makes no sense. Jesus himself spent only three years with the disciples and he was already like, okay, fine, you guys take over. You got this. Right? Mm. The 
purpose of being a father, uh, now let me deal with those people who call themselves spiritual fathers. Which father wants you staying in the house? Forever. Dependent on them forever. Mm -mm. A father's joy is when the son and indeed the daughter does not need them anymore. The whole point you feed them, clothe them, take them to school is such that they get to a point they can do things by themselves. It's the point of being a father. Yes. So the point of coming into eternity, Paul says, do not think any of us will have an advantage over the other. Those who are dead and those who are alive will together be caught up to receive Christ in the air. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't want to speak about rapture, but what that implies also is that the, the, the purpose of the generation before us mm -hmm. and the generation now is such that we bring ourselves together into oneness. Now, uh, so that I have, people don't think I'm misquoting scripture, let me, let me read. Eh? Uh, um, uh, I want to read from Ephesians, right? Uh, a scripture that, Ephesians 4.13, a scripture that many people have had, mm. have never, I've even quoted it here in class many times. So Ephesians 4.13, okay? Uh, his intention, uh, let me start from verse 12. His intention was the perfecting and the full equipping of the saints that they should do the work of ministering toward building the body of Christ. Right? Mm. So, they are building the body. Yes. Now, that building the body, why? That it might develop until we all attain oneness in the faith. Mm. Oneness in the faith problem already mm -hmm. right because if you ask people about uh, uh, dressing and whether women can teach yes uh, we already not one <laughs> but it says that we may attain oneness in the faith and in the comprehension the full and accurate knowledge of the son of god that we might we might arrive mm. at really mature manhood the completeness of personality, which is nothing less than the standard heights of Christ's own perfection, the measure and the stature of the fullness of Christ, and the completeness found in him. Mm. Who? In Christ. Who? We. We. Yes. Right? Mm. So, the first part of leadership in any environment is to bring people to at the very least, the maturity you have. Mm. At the very, if you failed as a leader, then the people around you are like you. Are like you. That's failure. Success as a leader is when you can see and tell the people around you that greater works than this shall you do. <laughs> mm. You see? Yeah. Because the stated intention of Christ of ministry is to build up the church that it might come into maturity, the fullness of the stature of Christ, that we may uh, be in every way attained to the measure of Christ. Yeah. Right? Mm. So, if you want to be a leader, the biggest thing you must build is a them. Because in business, if you are employed, you are the them. Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah. Because in business, whoever has the idea must get people to be able to, to push and execute the dream. Yeah. Right? Now, in life in general, the first point of leadership, again, even reading Ephesians, it says that to equip the saints, mm. to do works of service so that the church may be mature. Sure. So in other words, <clears throat> the reason why you are taught equipped is so that you build the church. Now, building the church is building his, yes. Yes. is building Mark, mm. that your existence is supposed to come into someone's life mm. and build them up. Yeah. And, and 
And that is why we need to be careful with this thing and word called fellowship. Mm -hmm. Fellowship, I'm beginning to realize, should be a place of fireworks. Mm. Should be a place of iron sharpening iron. It should be a place that when Ian comes, he's angry because we are pushing him. Right? Mm. That's what, who Jesus was. Mm. Jesus was constantly like, you have faith. Mm. How long, should, How I long should I be with you? You go out there. Go and, and bring down Satan like lightning. Go and cast out demons. Why are you crying? Why are you on a boat shouting at me? Mm. Have faith. Jesus, for three years, was always pushing. Mm. Jesus was so irritating. He told his own mother that the people I call my brothers and sisters are those who do the will of God. Mm. Can you imagine being Jesus' friend in that perspective? Rough. It's rough. Mm. But you see, for you to be able to have authority, there must be a them because authority does not come without them. Because mm. it says, let them have authority. Let yes. them have dominion. Mm. So, listen. If today you were to hold an election, okay, with yourself in your bedroom mm. and decide your bedroom is the Republic of Wentland. In fact, it's... Yeah, it sounds like a... Like a country you're in. Yes, yes. Right? A kingdom. Yeah, so you're in Wetland, mm. right? Then you vote for yourself mm. and your president. Yes. Do you realize the number of them determines whether the government will arrest you for treason or not. Mm. If you do it by yourself, we think you are crazy. Yes. <laughs> right? Leadership is about building a them. Mm. So in that case, it is correct. Yes. But that them is built to have dominion over everything on earth. So first of all, there's, there's the angle of because everything I have seen, let me mm. not say everything, but a lot of what I have seen written mm. and taught about authority mm. focuses on me and my authority. Yeah. Me walking in and conquering, mm. me having a, an effect in my mm. place, mm. but we do not focus on mm. building an authority that mm. is in, uni in, in unity with others, mm. which then results in a body that has effect in society. Yes. We've been hoping to has can affect society, mm. not this group can affect the society we are in. Mm. As a ste as step number one. Yes. That we th that then there needs to be that shift. It's not a building of my authority, it's a building of our authority. Oh, exactly. Yes. And, and uh, this is the, the paradigm shift, right? That that what we have done is and I keep saying the world seems to understand the principles of success from the Bible mm. better than we do. Mm. Because in the world, all of the wealthiest people in the world, all of them, mm. except none, have the ability to hire the best people to work for them. Mm. So it's a fact, yeah. right? Whether you're wealthy by royalty, they hire the best. Mm. You're wealthy by business, you hire the best, right? So think about it. David, on his way to kingship, God says he meets a bunch of wretched men, mm. useless men. By the time David has finished hanging, up with them, hanging out with them, they're men of valor, mighty men of God, mm. right? Listen. He was anointed king. He could not be king when David was alone. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So the first rule of success, of authority, of exercising power is by empowering those around you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not so that you can rule over them. No. Mm -hmm. So that now, you see, listen, can you imagine, mm -hmm. can you imagine if a church that had the pastor who has a gift of healing 
just as an example. Mm. And then his church has a hundred people. And these a hundred people, he has empowered them to do greater works than him. Yes. Mm. By the time those 100 people are healing, mm. how many people will be healed? Exponential, the math. You get? Yes. Yet, we see many preachers throughout their life praying and healing the same people he started healing 20 years ago. Mm. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. Mm. Church is the only school we go to where we don't graduate. You get? Mm. Because at the end of the day, if I can't listen to Ian, can't listen to Bonnie, can't listen to Titus, and go like, ooh, that's new, mm. that's interesting. Then the three, four years I've invested in them, I am wasting their time. Mm. Because it has to get to a point where the people you are in fellowship with are able to commune with you. You stopped yourself from a statement, yeah. which I think you should have finished differently. Yeah. You do not build others to rule over them. Yes. You build others to rule together. Yes. Because once you teach them to rule together, even the ones them they teach, yes. they will teach them to rule together. Exactly. And that's how God intended from Genesis mm. for us to have dominion over the earth. Yeah. The problem is, and, and, and let me put it in political terms, there are many times we've sent Christians to parliament. Mm. We've sent one Kagai. I remember we sent Mutava Musim. You remember? The guy was carrying Christianity on his, on shoulders, his shoulders. Right? Mm. We all expected him to do great things. My friend, he fizzled out. He does not even talk nowadays. It's mm. quiet. You know why? If a seed abides alone, if a seed does not fall to the ground and die, mm. it abides alone. Yes. But if it falls to the ground and dies, then it multiplies. Mm. What does that mean? If God has given you the ability to be the forerunner of an institution, an idea, a business, your death is you pouring yourself out to other people, raising them up to the same dignity you have. Mm. That raising up is called a them. Mm. When you have a them, then you have authority. Then you have power. Then you can begin to impact the earth. you mm. got to go together up to there. Okay. Now, I want, to <laughs> I want to show you guys something interesting that I have been marinating over for a while mm. on leadership. Mm. When I used to be younger, Mm -hmm. <laughs> younger. younger younger yeah there was an er at thank the end. you for the vote of confidence <laughs> yes in case you are doubting i am young but in, the in fact what, any, what do the cool kids say what can i say that is cool the same age na rigi jesus umezeshwa in an instance imagine so uh, I was taught that if life hands you lemonades, uh, lemons, Lemon. make lemonade, mm. right? So basically the idea behind that is that um, life will happen to you, it's your reaction that counts. Mm. And many of us live reactionary lives. Mm -hmm. So we wait or hope for things to happen, and then we hope that when we react to it, we react correctly, mm. right? Now, that statement in and of itself seems wise, mm. right? Because stuff happens to us all the time. You step out, you're rained on, uh, you are dumped, you're doing all of those things. Yes. But, 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 there's a dimension of authority where you happen to things. Mm -hmm. You happen to the world. 
you happen to the systems mm. you happen to 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 you impact right now what does that mean you see they say politics is the art of what that which is possible mm -hmm. that is my new definition of faith mm. you know how we keep adding to the definition so my new yes. one is faith is the art of what is possible what does that mean many of us need to have a transition in our heads mm -hmm. many of us are survivalists in life right we apply for a job we get a job we thank god now we pang our lives according to the job that happened to us mm. uh you 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 start a business you 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 get clients now you react to your clients right mm. so we are always adjusting to the world mm. but listen god said let them have dominion over the earth mm. Not the earth have dominion over us. It's an interesting thing. Mm. Uh, let, let me show you what the impact of this. Because if Joseph was real, I think he has shown the miracle mm. that us guys have not yet reached. Mm. So, listen. Moses... Uh, 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 Joseph dreamt that the stars, the moon, and the sun bowed to him. Mm. Okay. Right? Mm. His parents, his siblings, were like, eh, hey, you want to say we will bow to you? Mm. And indeed, it seemed like an accurate thing. The sun is the father, the moon is the mother, mm. the 12 stars are the are siblings. The siblings. Mm. But let me interpret it accurately. Because his father and nev mother never bowed to him. Mm. Before his siblings came, first only half his siblings bowed to him. Mm. Uh, only a few, the ones who first went to Egypt, mm. and then his mother was dead. So clearly, it's not about father, mother, and children. And children. However, when God created the sun, moon, and stars, he said, let them have, denote the times and the seasons. Mm. Right? Mm. We know to date that the tides, the seasons are controlled by the positions of the moon and the sun in relation to the earth mm. right therefore the sun moon and 12 stars denoting 12 months mm -hmm. makofi <laughs> were predicting thanks at least at least joy agrees that this is a deep revelation mm -hmm. were projecting and saying that joseph would through the wisdom that God has given him overcome the seasons that, that the sun, moon, and stars will bring upon the earth. He overcame seven years of plenty and seven years of drought. Mm. Which season is that? El Nino, La Nina, winter, spring? It's none of those. Mm. But he is the only person on record to have overcome all the heat the sun could bring, right? Mm. All the uh, changes the moon could do, 12 months a year for seven years, the sun, moon, and stars bowed to him. Mm. Right? Mm. Okay? Now, when you understand that, you then have to study Joseph carefully. Joseph, the first thing he does to have dominion is he creates a system. He creates a system to collect, to buy, to store, mm. to do all of those things. When the drought comes, he creates a system to distribute, mm. sustain. Right? Mm. Now, a lot of us have a problem that 
we don't lead with the end in mind. Okay? I used to ask people that wanted me to advise them about business, right? So I used to go like, what business do you want to start? And then they'll tell me, Nataka kuza nyama, right? I want to sell meat. Then I would advise them and say, oh, you know, you've got to make sure your supply is good. Mm. Then you've got to make sure that you have enough customers or you have enough storage so that because it's a perishable good, what is your perishable thing? You need to have your health licenses. You need to make sure there are no rats and, and dogs eating your meat. You need... That's how I used to advise people. Mm. I don't do that anymore. Mm. I ask them the other question. How big do you want this business to be? Mm. That is a more important question. Do you know why? Mm -hmm. Listen. <clears throat> if your target is to sell 30,000 shillings worth of meat every month mm -hmm. so that your profit is 10,000, right? Mm. It's very easy. Unaitaji mabati sita. One for the roof, two sides, four, and a spare one. Ukatekate kujaza jaza mashimo. Right? And then you need to be able to hang half a goat every day. It's very simple. Right? If you want to earn a hundred thousand, then you need twenty mabatis. Yes. You know, more poles to hold the thing together. You know, and you move from just goats, you have goats and beef. Mm. Right? The, your vision determines your action today. Mm. Now, a lot of people who live according to reaction will start things based on what they see now. You get? Mm. So what do they do? They go they want to start the butchery. They go to their account and someone is 20k. So, so there is no vision to determine how he is preparing, preparing now. now. Even his customer care is going to be different because for him, if he sells 5Gs that day, why does he need you? He's content, mm -hmm. right? The vision determines how you act today. Now, when God gives you a vision, that is what I call happening to the world. Mm. Mm -hmm. You are now happening. You are making that which you saw in your vision mm. appear on earth. Yes. That's what Jesus meant when he said, your kingdom come. We are downloaders of God's kingdom. So many Christians are caught in a cycle of not being successful because they are reactionary in their lives. Mm. They are reactionary in their prayers. Oh, I need to pay rent. I need to do this. You are reacting. Your demand on God is not where Abraham's was, mm. expand my tent. Yeah. You are not where Abraham was, let's conquer kings. You're not where Abraham was. Let's do things that these other people have not done. That's why he was called a Hebrew. He was the guy who would step in and do things that other people have never done. Yeah. Unless you walk into that dimension, you have not unlocked the trueness of faith. Because what you're walking in is, 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 is a reactionary a, a, a situation where the dominion of things has not dawned on you. Yeah. Now, when you walk in dominion, like Joseph, it doesn't matter whether they put you in the prison or they make you a slave. At the end of the day, you will bubble to the surface. You see, there's a poet I like. It's called Fat Joe. Mm. <laughs> he said a very holy statement. Mm. He said, I knew me and my people we were going to bubble. We were going to get to the top. Right? And his very poetic song called Lean Back. Mm. Right? It's very critical to understand that that is a very 
deep statement that you must know and understand that in you God has created the capacity to bring into the earth the thing you dreamt. Mm. And it needs to be something that you know that you know. Then you will begin to order your steps and fashion your actions based on the thing, on the dream, on the vision that God has That's given true. you. Uh -huh. I'm taking a pause. You're taking a pause. I'm saying heavy things. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so let me, let me then mm. interject you into the statement, the, the second part of my question. Mm. The persecution that comes as a result of leadership. Mm. Um, and it's interesting that you brought Joseph into the yeah. into the equation. Mm. Um, of course, we've generally we've we've thought of persecution as simply being mm. ostracized for faith. Mm. For are you a believer in Jesus? Yes. But Joseph's persecution mm. was not of that nature. Yes. But it was a persecution based on faith. It was a persecution as a result of the vision, of vision yes. that he had seen. Yes. How do we prepare and position ourselves to deal with that persecution as a leader, as a person who's chasing the vision we've been given? First question you need to ask yourself is who persecutes you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Joseph was persecuted by his brothers. His brothers. Uh -huh. Ten -ten -ten -ten. You know, I, I am posing for dramatic effect. I should have, you should have taken your water as well. Uh, I, should, I, should, I should have a keyboardist. Mm. Ten -ten -ten -ten. You know. Boni said that last time. <laughs> yes. mm. yeah. If you're a keyboardist and you know how to do uh, eh? tang, mm -hmm. uh, eh? hold at us. <laughs> <laughs> you see, God's vision for you is infuriating, disturbing, discombobulating to the people who know you, in quotes. A prophet Has, is, of, is with no honor. honor. Mtani. Among his kin. Mm. Jesus himself, they said, don't we know him? Mm. Hasn't he grown up here? So let me tell you who is persecuting your dream the most. The people, the ideas, the perceptions with which you are familiar. So let me explain. Because there's one side of persecution that we saw with Jesus, that he stepped out, he's following his vision. So he attracted persecution in that sense. But there's the persecution you accept. Mm. Now imagine when Jesus went back to his village and people were telling first the Bible says he could do no miracles there. Yes, which is very Jesus mm -hmm. himself could do no miracles there mm -hmm. simply because these dudes could not accept him. Mm -hmm. Right? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now <laughs> to make this even more interesting, imagine if Jesus agreed because clearly there was no evidence. So imagine if Jesus said, mm. I agree with you. This thing God wants me to do is too hard. Mm. It's too difficult. I'm reading this verse. I've never seen it this way. Yeah. When it says, uh, when he said a prophet is not without honor yes. in his town, mm. own country and among his relatives and his own house. Yes. It then says, and he was not able to do even one work of power there. Yes. So, but going continuing where you are, if yes. he had accepted this, mm. he would have done no work of power. Yes, anywhere. Yes, and and this is so 
critical. Tell them which verse it is. Mark, Mark, 6, 4, uh, Mark 6, 4 and 5. Yes. You know, so it is very critical to understand that if you listen to the voice with which you are familiar, you will not move. Now, what do I mean a familiar voice? That voice could have been your primary school teacher. Could have been your mother, your father. Could have been an ex. It is not necessary that those people are speaking to you right now. And sometimes they are speaking to you right now. Yeah. When your ear inclines to that voice... It kills your vision. Mm. Because there is no vision that God has ever given any human being that said, please stay where you are. Mm -mm. <laughs> There's no time. It's only these crazy Pentecostals who hear God all the time and are doing the same things all the time. My Bible, I know, even the disciples, Peter himself, when he says, I had God, he had to change his life. Mm. God doesn't, God has creative power in his voice. He just doesn't show up to make you feel tete, happy. Tete, tete, tete. You feel the, the, you don't need to the worship was, mm. you think God just wants you to feel, mm. goosebumps. <laughs> Any, the one who created the universe has all the power. Just wants to come and say, "Diko, diko, diko, diko." Anyway, you're mad if you think that way. Let us return. Mm. There is a familiar spirit that people need to get rid of. Mm. That spirit <coughs> is what has been used many times to counter what God has told you. Mm. Because many times when God speaks, he speaks of things that you cannot imagine. Yes. You know, mm. he will come to you and tell you, Ian, I want you to be governor of Kakamega. Right? Mm. You are like, eh? Mimi hata imsie nezakuwa kweli. Right? Atache emani ya mta. Yes. Every time God has spoken to anyone, the reaction has always been, huh? Who are you talking to? Who, me? Mimi. Because the vision of God on your life can never be where you are. Mm. It can never be. Do you know how I know it can never be? Because eh? mm. you were born in sin. Were born in you were born off the mark because mm. <laughs> sin is missing the mark so you missed <laughs> you missed the mark at birth so if you stay where your natural projection is you miss the vision mm. you see yeah. and for you to be able to overcome you must be willing to break the mold. It is a price many people are not willing to do. Mm. I, I know, for example, many preachers who know tithe and all of those things are not how we should teach generosity. They know. Mm. But they will not teach it because they are afraid that if they do, then they will be persecuted by who? Their brothers. Their tithe brothers. Mm. You get, mm. he, 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 come on, the, the world, do you know, does not persecute ideas. The world is very happy with ideas. Mm. Come up with yoga, they are happy. Come up with uh, nyota, you've lost your star, they are happy. Come up with mother bow, they are happy. The world is very happy with the nonsense. Mm. The people who are infuriated are brothers and sisters. It, it is nauseating to them when you have a vision. But even worse, they are nauseated when you try to heal them. Mm. 
So we had an uh, interesting <laughs> segue you've taken. Yes. Though we're not going too far off. Yeah. There's a statement Jesus said mm. that they see but don't perceive. Yes. Lest I heal them. Yes. And they and and and, what does and it they say? see. It says it says it says um um you're mixing two scriptures. Yes. That because you see you see your blindness remains. Mm -hmm. And then the other one says that they do not perceive, they do not, and I speak in parables, yeah. so that they don't understand. Mm. And if they understand, I'll be forced to heal them. Yes. You get. Yeah. Now, this is what happens. You know, if you know uh, 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 Boni, for example, mm -hmm. right? Mm. So you're the latest entrant. So, so let's say you know Boni, mm. like mm. his brother here knows him, mm. right? Yes. Then... Uh, you are in trouble you are sick right mm. then the way you know boni he comes and tells you let me hand, lay hands on you and heal you mm. you're like eh where because in your mind sini boni only heal nani but let me prove to you how human beings mm. are weird mm -hmm. If a preacher you don't know comes from Nigeria or the United States, because that's where nice preachers come from nowadays. If they come from the United States, you do not know him from Adam. He shows up and he says it's a healing crusade. Mm. The way that same brother will line up mm. as though that guy came with another God other than the one you have. Do you see how persecution comes? Mm. Because one of the hardest things to build in fellowship is the ability to understand and see each other's graces. Mm. So the persecution that is most crippling is not the persecution that, oh, you, you will lack money, you will struggle a little bit. Do you know why that is not a big persecution? Because mm. you're not doing your vision and you're still lacking money and struggling. <laughs> pale, pale. <laughs> That's, no, come on. Whether you pursue purpose or not, mm -hmm. will you fall sick at some point? Yes. yes. Will you lack money at some point? Yes. Will you have some, a run of bad luck at some point? Yes. So that's not persecution specific. <laughs> so can I wait to hear you say that? <laughs> <laughs> You'll hear the laugh. Mm? There we go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Mm. Um, Kenya power in a jaribu as bonuses could mm. persecution. Mm. Uh, and we are back. Mm. Yes, where were we? Yes. So I was saying mm -hmm. that persecution is not hardship and people need to understand eh, yes. that the nature of life is that hardship will happen to you whether you are pursuing purpose or not. Let's just be clear. Yes. Th there's no human being on earth without hardship. Whether you are poor, rich, big, small, slender, hardship will come to you no matter how you are in fact hardship will come to you whether you're wicked or righteous let's just be clear yes. hardship does not define uh that your your state of righteousness or your state of wickedness mm. so hardship is 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 a process by which god has ordained that every human being will go through for as long as we are on earth so persecution is not hardship yes Persecution only occurs, uh, and let me understate this, it overstate this rather, only occurs in the pursuit of obedience to the actions of God. You get mm. that if God tells you to move from here to Nineveh, and the Ninevites oppose you, that's persecution. Mm. Right? You're sitting at home sleeping, and thugs come steal from you. That's hardship. Mm. <laughs> you get? Because mm. I'm tired of people saying, oh, I've been sitting at home. I'm being persecuted. No, you're mm. just going through hardship. 
it has a role don't get me wrong yes because uh, the bible says we should persevere and overcome mm. but that persecution only happens when you are doing that which was given to you to do mm. right now that persecution you must understand why it exists it doesn't exist so that it pisses you off it exists to stop that which god put in you from coming into the earth mm. that's why it exists mm. it simply exists to stop that thing that god wants to happen from appearing mm. now when you understand that it changes how you react to persecution because when jesus is being persecuted by his own because the pharisees were his own uh, 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 his family was his own mm -hmm. and things like that when he's being persecuted he understood that these same people who are persecuting him are the ones he came to rescue yes. and that's why what Bonnie said last week was so accurate he said that the kingdom is such a seed that when you plant it it becomes big enough that even the wild birds the wild animals the things that were bad to you mm -hmm. find refuge in you yes. right mm -hmm. that was profound i'd never seen it like that mm -hmm. and and that is exactly what should be your mentality when you're persecuted mm -hmm. Uh, this is what I mean. In your fellowship, when you are trying, uh, okay, so, so, so let me give a, an example, right? So let's say in our fellowship is a psychiatrist, right? And then she is looking at how Ian is dealing with life and he's dealing with it wrongly. Mm. In a lot of the time in fellowship, you see things and then you are like, okay, I will pray for my brother. Mm. No. Fellowship is about sparring one another unto good works. Yes. So we need to get to that point where you understand building that which God has asked you to build. In as much as people will fight you about it, what you are building is for them. Mm. You see? Yeah. I was, I was telling someone the other day. <clears throat> that all my life i have struggled with how intense i am right because people are very many times put off by how focused and intense i am when i'm doing things people who've told me that should meet you yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know then slowly i realized the same people who are bothered by my intensity benefit from it. Mm. Because in this life, if you're not intense and intentional, I honestly don't know what you are. Because this world is not going to change until you focus. Yeah. Right? So how do you overcome persecution? First thing is you need to be able to identify it. The first line of persecution is always to change your mind about the thing you're doing. Mm. Problem is persecution has two sides. Mm -hmm. It has the side that wants to stop you and it has the side that wants to offer you a shortcut. Mm -hmm. Many times we talk about the side that wants to stop you. You know, they, 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 they didn't want me to learn how to play guitar and I was supposed to be a great musician, blah, blah, blah. But, like Jesus, the temptation to bow to the devil and he's given all the kingdoms of the world was a shortcut. Yes. You and Joseph. Yes. Laying with the... With Potiphar's wife. wife. Yes. Mm. Was a shortcut. Yeah. There is two kinds of persecution, two kinds that, of things that want to stop your purpose. Mm. The, 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 the thorns and the thistles and the hard soil. Mm. One is about hardship and, and things not going your way. The other one is a shortcut. Mm. Uh, it says that you are drawn away by the pleasures of the world. Yes. Right? So the, many people 
talk about the persecution of, of, of things standing against your way, the one you need to watch out for most is the persecution where the devil gives you a shortcut. Now that one is dangerous. Because mm. the shortcut looks like what you were told. Do you, you hear? Mm. The shortcut, you see, let me tell you how shortcuts are funny. Remember, there were Jews that got land on this side of the Jordan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm. Do you remember those guys? Yes, the two and a half. They, they, they got land on this side of the Jordan. Yes. The promise was across the Jordan. Yes. I want you to practically think about it. Mm. If you are going to buy land by the side of the river, mm. would it matter if it's on that side or on this side? No, you're next. Jeez. You're watered. The Jordan is not at your big river, mm. at it's 100 kilometers wide. It's a few meters, right? Mm. But the promise was on the other side of the Jordan. Mm. So sometimes you need to be very careful not to settle for the thing that looks like the promise. Uh, there is, uh, go on, because you see, yeah. I, I can't find it, yeah. but I wrote it somewhere. Yes. What was the effect long term into the kingdom of Israel and Judah oh, the, of the, the two and a half the, the, remaining? The, those, those guys who got the land on this side, mm. if you read now through Kings and Chronicles and Judges, mm. you will find they were always the first ones to be misled by other tribes. Oh. Yeah. Mm, interesting. You get. Mm. In fact, in the history of Israel, they were the first ones to be chotwad and disappear. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. The, the promise of God is specific. And a lot of the time, the journey becomes hard. You get. Yes. So, for example, uh, you are told to start a, 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 a children's home. Mm. Let me use an example. When you start a children's home, for a long time you've got two kids. Two. Then the, you have two sponsors. Yes. You and yourself. Mm. Okay? Mm. So now, you get so frustrated because in the counting of how success is counted, yes. the more kids you have, the more sponsors you have, the more successful your children's home. Yeah. But if God wanted you to start a children's home for two kids, what is your problem? Do you? You get. Mm. So a lot of the time, we get lost and produce an Ishmael because we translated purpose into our own image and likeness. Mm. Mm. You get. And that kind of persecution is the dangerous one. Because that kind of persecution, even Jesus wanted to agree. You see, we talk about the, temp the three temptations of Jesus. Mm. Jesus breezed through those ones. Yes. He, he had no issue. When he is at the Garden of Gethsemane, what he wanted yeah. is not what God wanted. Baka here to say, not my will, but your will. Because his will and the will of God for once. My question to you, as you pursue destiny and purpose, the way people like to yap, and how people usually go to the front of the church, and everything they're told, they say, I receive. Mm. Question, how many things in your life in your pursuit of purpose are not my will but yours. Yes. How many things mm. are you at the point where you're saying, God, not my will but yours? Many visions, many dreams, many purposes die at Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And they die because you lived. 
mm. they die because your will prevailed. Uh, I think it's imperative that we pick out, I, I don't know whether I'll capture it in words, that if Christ being God at the crux of accomplishing his mission mm. was this close to saying, no, 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 let's do it my way. Yes. We need to... Not uh, this close. He was three times this close. Three times this close. Yes. Exactly. Three yes. times this close. Yes. We need to appreciate what that means for us as we approach the crux of our vision. Yes. Which jumps to my next po question. Yes. Mm. On the matter of trusting God and his intentions for mm. us. Matthew 10, 31. Fear not, then... You are of more value than many sparrows. Therefore, everyone who acknowledges me before men, and this is what I'm interested in, these are verses that have kanganyad mm. me, and I, I don't know whether this is a context, but mm. therefore, everyone who acknowledges me before men and confesses mm. me out of a state of oneness with me, mm -hmm. I will also acknowledge him before my Father, yes. who is in heaven, mm. and confess that I am abiding in him. Mm. But whoever denies and disowns me before men, I mm. will also deny. Yes. and disown him before my father who yes. is in heaven. Mm -hmm. Mark 8, 38. For whoever is ashamed here and now of me and my words mm. in this adulterous and faithful and preeminently sinful generation, of him will the Son of Man also be ashamed mm. when he comes in the glory, splendor, and majesty of mm. his Father yeah. with the holy angels. Mm. Mm. Second Timothy 2, 11 to 13. Mm. The saying is sure and worthy of confidence. Mm. If we have died with him, mm. we also shall live with him. Yes. If we endure, we shall also reign with him. Yes. If we deny and disown and reject him, he will also deny and disown and reject us. Mm -hmm. If we are faithless, do not believe and are untrue to him, he remains true, faithful to his word and his righteous character, for mm. he cannot deny himself. Mm. Yes. So my question is, or mm. what I want to talk about is, how with these three portions of scripture that mm. I've read, Mm. And the overbearing concern and worry of being denied by God for our failures. Mm. How do we then move forward and maintain our trust in God that he's got your back? You, you know what is critical? And, and this is one of the toughest things for Christians uh, to deal with. Eh? Mm. Denying God yes has a meaning of i don't want god i don't like him but denying god because his word is him mm -hmm. is when he gives you an instruction and you don't follow yes that's denying god mm -hmm. and it's one of the things that a lot of people miss in understanding what that scripture means mm -hmm. if we suffer with him if we uh, uh, read that again. If we endure, we shall if also... If we endure with him... We shall also reign with him. So you cannot reign unless you endure. endure. Uh -huh. yeah. Before that... Uh, okay, didn't read, I didn't read that. So Second mm. Timothy, let's go directly. There. Yeah. Second Timothy 2. Mm. So I had started at 11. Mm. Should I start at 6? It is the hardworking farmer who labors to produce who must be the first partaker of the fruits. Mm -hmm. Think over these things I am saying. Think over these things I am saying. Understand them and grasp their application for the Lord will grant you full insight and in understanding. Mm -hmm. Constantly keep in mind Jesus Christ, the Messiah, as risen from the dead, as a prophesied king descended from David, mm -hmm. according to the good news that I preach. Mm -hmm. For that gospel I am suffering affliction, Mm -hmm. which I think is what we, you're interested in. For, yes. the, for that gospel, I am suffering affliction mm. and even wearing chains like a criminal, but the word of God is not chained or imprisoned. Mm. Therefore, I am ready to persevere mm -hmm. and stand my ground with patience mm -hmm. and endure everything for the sake of the elect, God's yes. chosen, mm -hmm. so that they too may obtain the salvation which is in Christ Jesus. So you must reward. lift the people around yes. you to the... Uh -huh. Yes. So it's talking about patience, mm. persevere, patience, endurance, yes. to lift others. Mm -hmm. Then 11 says, uh, the 12, oh, 11, the mm -hmm. saying is sure and worthy of confidence. Mm -hmm. If we have died with him, yes. we shall also live with him. Yes. If we endure, we shall also reign. Mm -hmm. 
then now it goes to if we deny and disown him, mm. he will reject us. Yes. Right? Mm. So what is critical? He will deny us. Mm. You see, the, there are many people who think of purpose in terms of pomp and glamour. Mm. Right? Me, I remember when I was a kid watching Miles Monroe. You know Miles Monroe is the one who unleashed purpose. Yes. So I think I was in high school or something. And then he unleashed these purpose uh, teachings. And then in my mind, I translated purpose to fame. Mm. Like if you write a book, you must be a Pulitzer winner. Mm. You must, everyone, it must be New York bestseller. So I used to think the guy who's a New York bestseller is in purpose. In purpose. Uh, the guy who's a, 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 a Beyonce is in purpose. Mm. Uh, uh, and I used to think that purpose is... It's being recognized by a lot of people. No. No. Purpose is the cross. Mm. Purpose is found at the place where you die so that others may live. Mm. That's where purpose is found. Mm. Purpose is found where it is not my will, but your will. will. Okay. Mm. I'll give you an example of two musicians. So let's take Beyonce and Bono, right? Mm. Bono is from U2. Uh, U2 is a rock band. Uh, for for that's for Wentland. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Bono uses his fame. Mm. To rescue people in Haiti, yes. To 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 do climate change action and whatever. Beyonce may donate here and there, but in my view, uh, uh, I think her biggest contribution um, to people's lives is to the left, to the left, and who rules the world. <laughs> Those at least are used a lot. Mm. You get. But <laughs> the real impact is that Bono will be remembered more for what he did, and it, he's not famous for it, mm. than he will be remembered for his music. Yes. Right? Mm. In the kingdom, we have to understand that the culmination and understanding of purpose must grow to the point where you meet your cross. Mm. That's why Paul says, if we died with him, mm. meaning you can die without him. Mm. That does not mean dying with him is our father came and prayed for you before you died. Mm. Or you made a prayer before you died. That's not what it means. It means your death when it came, you were doing the things he was doing. That's what is called dying with him. Mulikuwa mm. pamoja. You are working together. Fellow laborers. When you die like that, you will live with him. Mm. When you endure, you will rule with him. What does it what were you enduring? Mm. The work that he called you to do. So your your your, your so-called purpose yes. might not be some elegant, fantastic thing. Your purpose might be that you were a prostitute for so many years, saved your money, had an alabaster box, mm. broke it, and used your hair, which was a sign of your shame, to clean the master's feet. Yes. That could be your purpose. The issue is, are you willing to go to the cross with that purpose, for that purpose? Mm. That's the question. This idea of hearing and seeing purpose as just this grandiose, money-making, rich-making thing yeah. is not the right thing. You have to figure out what is the thing that will kill me doing mm. so that other people can live. All right. For me, for example, one of those things is teaching. Mm. It kills me every day, especially on social media. <laughs> you get? Mm. But 
it is the death God chose for me. And I will. Finally, uh -huh. there's, there's, uh, there's a uh, seeming contradiction mm. of Christ's statements. Mm. I want us to see whether we can clean, clear it up. To toy, to toy eh, those things that are blocking us mm. from seeing what he's saying. Mm. Luke 9, Luke 9, 49, mm. 50. John said, Master, we saw a man driving out demons in your name, mm. and we commanded him to stop it. Yes. For he does not follow along with us. Mm. But Jesus told him, Do not forbid such people, mm. for whoever is not against you is for you. Mm. That story is repeated in Mark 9 38. Jesus mm. said to him, Teacher, we saw a man who does not follow along with us driving out demons in your name, and we forbade, forbade him to do it mm. because he is not one of our band. But Jesus said, do not restrain or hinder or forbid him, for no one who does a mighty work in my name mm. will soon afterward be able to speak evil of me. Mm. For he who is not against us is for us. us. Luke 11, 21, mm. the other side of this. Unakumbuka uh, tukifanya debate. Kuvuka sakafu. So the other side of the sakafu. Luke mm. 11, 21. Mm. When the strong man, fully armed from his courtyard, guards his own dwelling, his mm. belongings are undisturbed, his property is at peace and is secure. Mm. But when one stronger than he attacks him and conquers him, he robs him of his whole armor on which he had relied mm. and divides up and distributes all his goods as plunder. Mm. He who is not with me, mm. siding and believing with me, mm. is against me. Mm. And he who does not gather with me, scatters, engage in my interests, scatters. Mm. Repeated in Matthew twelve twenty nine, or how can a person go into a strong man's house and mm. carry off his goods, mm. the entire equipment of his house, without the first without first binding the strong man? Mm. Then indeed he may plunder his house. He who is not with me, definitely on my side, is against me. Mm. And he who does not definitely gather with me and my side scatters. Mm. Extrapolate these two statements that seem to be in opposites. By you know, the same man. Weirdly, they're not in opposition. Mm -hmm. You see, the disciples, when they were talking, they they are not with us. Mm -hmm. They had created a clique. Mm -hmm. You get? We are the Jesusites, mm -hmm. and then no one else can follow Jesus Apart from, from outside. Mm -hmm. You get? Mm -hmm. What Jesus was saying that that guy is my is a different kind of follower mm. to you yes that guy is able to do mighty works in my name mm. because he has understood me and not had proximity mm. you get mm -hmm. so jesus was not saying that person is not of his party mm. in the sense of the second verse yes. because the second verse when he talks about of my party mm. jesus is not talking about the people around him yes he's talking about the general humanity mm -hmm. the disciples were talking about their clique mm. they were like with us cc you mm. get mm. jesus was saying that person is with me mm. just not in the same way you are with me yes you get uh, sort of like the centurion remember jesus was always very interesting in dealing with foreigners he always would challenge them and ask them, you guys are not the inheritors of the promise, yes. right? To show them that if they had faith, they could adopt themselves into the family of God to get it. Mm. So Jesus had this thing consistently where you would see his interaction with Samaritans, with, 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 the, with the people who are rejected in Israel, mm pushing them to have faith so that they can be adopted and eat what the Israelites should have eaten. Yes. Now, the children of Israel had, and, and, and Peter continued to have this uh, even after uh, 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 Christ died. They had a, 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 an asness, a, mm. a sisi kwa sisi, you know. Mm. The, 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 it's ni sisi, you get, we are the guys. Appetite. Yes. In fact, oh, so yes, it was it was really an apartheid. Mm -hmm. Israel was was an apartheid um, kind of place. So they had a lot of that apartheid thing, and and Jesus was telling them that listen, no one who is using my name that believes in me can soon afterwards turn against me. Mm -hmm. But what Jesus was pointing out is a disease we have in church today, mm -hmm. that if you find it that 
Bonnie can preach. You're like, I haja ku anointed, haja enda Bible school, haja haja wa bibi, you know. Haja so, pitia mali ni mepitia. Yes. So, forbid. <laughs> the, the, we're not talking about this Bonnie, it's another one who you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so, we find reasons to stop people ministering because they have not gone through the journey we have gone through it's 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 a very silly thing it's the same thing engineers and lawyers do to young students mm. i call it the the spirit of molek mm. that now you make it hard for someone to become an engineer just because it was hard for you mm. how 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 is that a logical thought mm. that how many lecturers say proudly my course 50 percent of students fail okay. But that means you are, are a useless teacher, only 50% of people. Are you mm. able to teach? Mm. But because we like to create pain and, and vikwazo for people to access the kingdom, then we are always saying, please forbid these people from doing this because they have not gone through what we've gone through. Mm. It needs to stop because... God does not call people the same. In fact, he did it so well with Paul. Yes. Many people define an apostle as someone who saw Jesus. Paul didn't. Mm -hmm. He had a revelation of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Funny thing, same people who say that Paul had a revelation of Jesus, then say you cannot have apostles today. I'm like, are you mad? Mm -hmm. If the Holy Spirit is still speaking, and he's only speaking that which he takes of Christ, he will take that which of mine, which is mine, and reveal it to you, mm. then there can be many poles. Yes. You dim it. And you're sorry. Mm. I'm not sorry. Mm -hmm. there, is, sorry, not sorry. there is this idea, especially in Christianity today, where we want to qualify people using things that we imagine should be there. Mm. Some people think that being male qualifies you for women to submit to you, qualifies you to tell women not to preach. You are insane. There's a... There's a <coughs> not to interrupt you. Yes. In a certain group, I, I, there's, there's a former classmate of mine who was very proud to use a very a very interesting and mm. uh, phrase which I had never seen, mm. and I'm not saying it wasn't useful. But mm. he said when he turned 18, mm. his father told him mm. there can be no, there cannot be two grown men mm. in my wife's house. Yes. So he was kicked out. Yes. Go figure life out. Mm. Mm. And I thought to myself, mm. which is part of what, of what you're calling the Molek mm. thing, mm. I find it weird that in Africa we think it is a, an achievement mm. to make our children mm. repeat our mistakes. Mm. To go through the fires we went yes. through. Yes, you shall not put your child through the fire. Just to get to where we are. Yes. And yet, as we were discussing at the beginning, mm. the idea of a father is to ensure that your children start where you end. Yes. That's, in fact, let, let me put it in perspective. You, you've seen my, my treatise on this issue of women yes. should submit to, 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 to men. Mm. Boss, in the entirety of scripture, there is no place a female should submit to a male simply because he is male. Yes. Marriage is a different story. Right? Mm. There is no way. Now, I should be walking on the street and I should be able to order any woman because I am male. Mm. Like, even if you think about it logically, it makes no sense. But it is the partisan nature, the Sisindio Walewa say nature mm. of people who practice the law that is coming straight to be seen. Because the reason why people follow the law is because the law is excellent at disqualifying people. In fact, the law disqualifies everyone. Mm. So what happens? These disciples were like, uh -huh. the people who should cast out demons are the guys who eat Jesus' food, hang out with Jesus. So they had created a rank and file for them. Jesus was telling them, no, no, mm. 
I have many followers. They do not necessarily look and act like you. Mm. And it's something we need to understand. Yes. Because otherwise we will keep disqualifying people for weird and frankly stupid reasons. Yeah. All right. That is what I had for today. <laughs> um, and I wanted you to sum up everything we've discussed um, in the last two weeks as well. And it has, in my opinion at least, it mm. has ended well. Mm. I hope ime wajenga. Atujangalia maswali. Kuna maswali? The last four minutes. David Kitenge statement. It's mm -hmm. possible that success is always hidden in what affects you the most. Mm -hmm. Purpose is dying for others to live. Powerful. Oh. Yes. Uh, on these statements. Mm -hmm. Second video. Labda ya kwanza ilikuwa na zingine. Yeah. Pole. Uh, yes, that being said, thank you for being with us. Na tumefurahia. Mm. Unaya ziada ya kongeza. No. See you guys next week. Good stuff. See you guys next week. Die well. Mbari yes, die well. Mkufe na raha. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs>